There's seven million kilowatts running right. A whole lot of juice, you know, it's enough to kill us dead. And there's a team that creeps across my skin. Dr. Michael Callahan, uh, probably the world's leading researcher in the Zika virus, uh, based at uh, the Massachusetts General Hospital, Harvard School of Medicine. But from what you said about this mosquito, uh, it doesn't seem like aerial spraying of this now lead and all the other things that may be being used is really the right approach. Mosquitoes are very different from each other. This is a indoor resident. It is not flying around at night when aerial spraying happens, and it is a weak flyer. It does not fly up high in the air column like the Culex mosquito. And for this mosquito and for this problem, you need yard-to-yard -yard control with backpack-mounted sprayers, and you need to work on your biologic controls. That aerial spraying does a disservice by wiping out mosquito-eating insects, the dragonflies, the robber flies. And so other cultures and other systems have fought aggressively to preserve the biological control, the, the things that eat Aedes aegypti, while making judicious use of pesticides by putting the pesticides only where the mosquitoes are. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is from Florida Health. It's about mosquitoes. It's telling me everything about mosquitoes and spraying some off. But uh, here we go. Let's see. Fix holes in your sprinkler, turn over tires. Oh, I get that. But uh, hey, I don't see anything about spraying now at 6 o'clock in the morning over my house. Bee colonies in Somerville wiped out after aerial spraying of a pesticide to kill mosquitoes. I have an apiary here with 40, 46 hives of bees. Well, I did have, I now I have boxes. I was angry that day. I mean, I just, it just didn't make any, I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that we spray poison from the sky. Some people in the Miami area are, are now saying they want the insecticide spraying to stop. Why? Partly because of this outrage. There was a protest outside a, me a meeting of the Miami Beach City Commissioners today. Good morning, Commissioners, Mayor, fellow citizens. My name is Dr. Michael Hall. I'm board certified physician in family medicine. And uh, I'm here to talk about something very concerning to me. Uh, I have very deep concerns about what's going on with the Nalid uh, spraying in our community. And I represent a coalition of concerned citizens in the greater Miami area. The group's called South Florida Poison Response Coalition, and literally we emerged overnight. We've come together from all walks of life, expressing very valid objections regarding the impact of NALID poison released into our community and over my home. This is a chemical weapon that's being used by Syria and North Korea. This is something that I am very deeply moved by. My name is Dr. Andrew Levinson. Um, I'm an expert in detoxification and relatedly neurodevelopmental and, neuro and uh, neurodegenerative disorders. I've been educating physicians in the field locally and internationally for approximately 15 years from medical students to medical deans. Organophosphate pesticides are clearly toxic and there's, the evidence is abundant that they're not safe in even the smallest amounts in pregnant women, in children, or in anyone who's medically fragile. Mayor Levine, I first voted for you in the beginning because you are not the typical politician. You were approachable, you were able to listen to what your constituents said, and you were able to listen to your community. I don't feel that you're giving that a fair shake on this one, and I hope that you'll reconsider. And I'm telling you, and it's not a threat, but I'm gonna tell you that my, commission, my coalition has over 5,000 members, and if you're not ready to tell the truth, we're gonna get out there with our signs, and we're gonna pick it from 5th Street to 19th Street daily to get our message to the tour. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Several hundred people showed up yelling, angry about the use of this insecticide called oh, Nalid. You antibodies and you're better. What happens with this poison of spraying on you? Permanent neurological damage. Yeah, if you're going to spray, yeah, we, we should have a say. say. If, if you're, you're going to spray, spray, we, we should, should have, have a say. say. If you're going to spray, we should have a say. If you're going to spray, we should have a say. If you're going to spray, 
We sit on the same. Sir, are you at least doing all the other? There's other products that are on the market. Have, the other, there's other products that are on the market. Have you at least been looking into those? Yeah, what, what do you know about them? Yeah, have you fucking it? There's another one sitting on Rick Scott's desk right now. We need to get on the back row. Why do I got to be on the front side? I'm going to run over. Okay, that's fine. That's good. I'm worried about my state. I'm worried about your mayor poisoning my people. Insecticide called Nalid. It's been banned in Europe. It's been banned in Puerto Rico, but it's uh, approved by the FDA. And it's already used widely across the United States, including here in Florida. The other big problem here is apparently communication. Did you realize that they sprayed at 6 o'clock in the morning? Absolutely not. It stinks and it's nasty and I don't like breathing. And nobody told you anything about it? Nobody told me a word. Do you know if you like, did anybody from Metro Dade tell you that they were spraying tomorrow? No. Uh, no, I did not know. Nobody let me know. But I do know about this chemical. It's been banned in Europe, by the way. So I'm not coming in tomorrow. You think this is going to hurt your business? Of course it is. It's already hurting the business. It was never the Zika that hurt my business. It's the chemical. People are afraid. People know what's the happening. Is the official reason. They're trying the to do it for the mosquitoes, okay. for the Zika, okay? The Zika? Is what okay. they're saying, which they haven't really discovered enough of them in Miami Beach. But yeah. there's alternatives to spraying this chemical. They're just not listening to it. Right. Anybody from Metro Day tell you about this? Did anybody in your hotel tell you about this? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm very surprised. But anybody told you about this? Uh -uh. Nothing. Nobody from Metro Dade. I'm surprised. Neurotoxic poison. And they're gonna spray here at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It's gonna be on the beach. So I would suggest staying off the beach a little bit in the morning. And the same thing with your swimming pool at the hotel. Because once it gets into the swimming pool, it gets neurotoxic. Cold juice. Okay. So it's gonna be all over the, the playground tomorrow. So you should wait till they come and clean it off before you put it, because it's very dangerous for kids. Has anybody told you about this poison no, spray? No. And do you live in Miami, or are you I a guest? Do. And nobody's told you about it? Nobody. I'm surprised. No, I think you're the first person who's given me a flyer. Nope. Nobody from the hotel, nobody from Metro. Clearly, a lot of outrage and anger and communications problems. Yeah, I've heard about it. I've heard it causes cancer, uh, possibly related death to it, it causes crap. Do you live on Miami Beach? I do, actually, right now I'm homeless. So much worried about the Zika as I'm worried about the spray. Wow, you know, I've got nowhere to hide. I've got nowhere to cover for it. I, I don't know. I don't think the city uh, really cares. Yeah. Hey, well, I hope this is helpful for you because there's some tips right here. I know a lot of them for you, it's going to be hard because you have nowhere to go. Right. So I suggest trying to take cover somewhere, maybe go in the alley or something just to get out of the direct spray. And yeah. It's going to be at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I, I know you have a dog out there. Please, man, be yeah, careful. Don't worry about it. Pick up so the food. Inside. Yeah, pick up the food. Don't leave the food out. Okay. Make sure you change his water. Wipe everything down. All right. You know, afterwards, because the residue is going to stay on there. All right. So you want to be careful. But it, yeah, hey, man, I, I wish you luck and uh, God it's bless. Be, it's going to be me. Yeah, we could not go to your place and we sure can't go to mine. So we're out here going back. Yeah, we could not go to your place and we sure can't go to mine. The fact that Thank our government is allowing something like this is actually sickening, so, but I'm not surprised. Uh, now we know a lot more. Uh, we learned that it is a mosquito a vector that uh, is mostly active during the day and mostly indoors, and that these um, issues of spraying, aerial spraying in Miami and uh, across South Florida, uh, may be not much more than window dressing. Yeah, we could not go to your place, and we sure can't go to mine. So we're out here going at it Beneath these powers